Hello, welcome back to the channel. This channel is called Digifox Labs and I am Digifox. Anything you see or hear here today at this given moment is not financial advice, nor are we financial advisors. Everything you see and hear is our own personal opinion. If you do follow us and copy our trade, you very well may lose your money or very well may 10x or 100x. Either way, it is your responsibility and it is not our fault if you lose the monies. Now, going back with the last video, the theme definitely was football or soccer, depending on where you are in this world. So, why is soccer such a big deal and such a big marketing marketing campaign for all blockchain uh, cryptocurrencies? Well, could it be possibly that over 1 billion people watch football? Could it be the World Cup is coming up in a few months? Could it be that some of the clubs or teams, as some people call them, are some of the richest corporations in the world and the most recognized symbols in the world. I'd say so. So with that in mind, Bybit, a very popular exchange used on uh, used for leveraging, used for trading, used for spot exchange, and very, very popular on the YouTubes. All the major YouTubers uh, involved in cryptocurrency have a Bybit account, shield Bybit, and uh, recommend you use Bybit. Now, frankly, I have used Bybit. People here at Digifox Labs have used Bybit. Now, I'm not going to shill it to you. No, because that involves leveraging or at least the temptation to leverage. What I'm going to discuss here is what Bybit has done as far as marketing is concerned. So they've become the global main sponsor of Argentina's national football team. Sorry, soccer team. Okay. If you don't know who Argentina is, they are actually the country that gave birth to not only Lionel Messi, considered one of the greatest footballers in the world today and for the past decade or two, but also Diego Maradona, who also was considered for his time the greatest of all time. So, according to this article written by Crypto Potato, <laughs> that's a that's a cheeky domain name actually right there. <laughs> Argentine Football Association revealed that Bybit will serve as its global main sponsor for all selections in the next two years. So the next two years, the AFA have actually acquired Bybit as a partner. Fantastic. That's the cryptocurrency trading platform. Put its name next to well-known corporations such as Adidas. Nissan and Coca-Cola, which are also official sponsors of Argentina's national football team. Bybit's logo on Messi's training clothes. The new partnership will allow Bybit to have maximum visibility in all AFA assets, according to official announcement. Additionally, <laughs> so, so Lionel Messi, the greatest player currently in the game today, signed a separate contract with Bybit. That's, that's beautiful. Additionally, Lionel Messi and his teammates from El from La uh, La Albiceleste, Argentine nickname among the soccer fans, will have the company's logo displayed on the training apparel for the following 24 months. So not only are they on the training clothes, so when you go see them practice or you see them walking about uh, representing the country, they will be wearing this. Now keep in mind, what why is this so important? Well, we have the World Cup coming up in 2022 right uh, uh, in the summer so in six months you're going to see this logo everywhere argentina are actually are great competitors to win it all at the very least they may make it quarterfinals or semi-finals so all that exposure all the billions of people will see oh what's boy bit oh let's go ahead and get on it that's fantastic that's great marketing that is a great business model it is so and on top of that it's messi has got another contract so you know he's going to be doing commercials and everything like that all right so that's beautiful that is really beautiful and where is where is this young chap at where is Messi at oh there he is there's Messi right here so 
this little man right here, and I say little because he's like five foot seven, right? This little man right here is worth hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? And now he's just getting into the blockchain. Now, for those of you that don't know, he also plays for the French uh, football club PSG. Now, if you don't know, he was actually paid quite handsomely the transfer from Barcelona to PSG in euros, okay? Additionally, he was offered and he accepted tokens, the PSG tokens, okay? We'll dive into that later on, but currently we're just talking about uh, football and how it relates to the blockchain and where it's going from here. So not only does he have a sponsorship with Bybit, but he's also got sponsorships from, not sponsorships, but he's also got tokens, PSG tokens that he's just sitting on. And that's actually part of his salary or maybe his bonus. I don't know. This contract is not up for the public, but he does or did get paid in PSG tokens, which you can actually get on crypto.com. Okay. So that's beautiful. That's fantastic. So blockchain definitely is already here. The future isn't, is not blockchain? The present is blockchain. So again, Bybit becomes global main sponsors of Argentina's national soccer team. Fantastic. Now, if we look here, fantasy soccer startup Sorare says NFT firms need to engage with, regulator, with regulators. So th this is coming from Reuters, right? Quite a big deal when it's coming from Reuters. So if you don't know what Sorare is, it's actually a fantasy... Uh, yeah, it's like a fantasy football league, right? You buy these cards, essentially NFTs, okay? You buy them and you and you form a squad, right? Your squad, I believe, has like five or six players on it. So you need to have five or six NFTs or cards and, and they differentiate in, in price. So for example, you have here a red one, a blue one, and a, a, well, I don't know, a brown one, right? A doo-doo brown one. And uh, not, not speaking of Kelly Mbappe, no, not at all. Just the color, the background, right? Sorry, mate. So they all have different attributes. So for example, you, you say this is your, your squad right here, right? A goalkeeper, defender, forward, forward, midfielder, and uh, I believe maybe one of these is a sub. But So they play, right? Let's say they have a match on Sunday, okay? They play uh, Olympic Lyon, right? Mbappe scores one goal. Uh, Kimbappe uh, does fantastic on defense, and Kaylin Navas uh, has uh, 30 saves, and no one scores on, okay? So... This is a red background, right? So all those saves are amplified attributes of, let's say, like 2%, right? Same thing with the defender. Now, Mbappe with this gold brown doo doo color in the background, right? Because it's a rarer card, right? Oh, and even says right here, unique, okay? Because it's unique, the attribute will be increased 10%. So at the end of the match, the players that you fielded give you an aggregated score at which that score competes against other people playing the same game and predicting on the same matches. Then you are airdropped rewards in other cards. So you may be airdropped a red rare one, a blue rare one, or maybe even a unique one, depending on what the matches and the, the rewards are in it, okay? At the same time, when you're done with it, right? Let's say Mbappe gets injured. Well, he's not going to play. So now you're sitting on an NFT that's essentially useless to you, right? It's not making you money. It's not giving you airdrops because... It's actually aggregated API-wise by statistics, live statistics at the time of the match. So you might as well sell it, right? Sell it. And it gives you an option, I think via RAMP, right? Which is another coin and another protocol, right? It gives you the option to sell it for Ethereum. So not only do you have value within NFTs, within the game itself, the ecosystem, but you also have the value of the NFT upon itself to sell it on OpenSea within the app. And I'll show you the app here in a minute. But now it's saying, oh, look at this. We need regulations, right? Well, I, I can kind of see that, believe it or not, because NFTs, you, you can actually make money. And, you know, governments want to tax you on every single capital gains that you have. So I, last time I checked, this Mbappe card was like a couple grand, right? So imagine if you would have got airdropped it for free and then you sell it for a couple grand, right? That's capital gains of, of what? At least, at least in America and Canada, it's like, what, 20, 30, 40%? That's... That's, that's some serious taxation. That's some serious money for what all these legislation uh, bills coming along down the road need to pay for. So that's pretty much what this is going on about. Uh, I mean, look at this. Sorari, whose latest 680 million funding round was led by Japan's SoftBank. Look, SoftBank. 
is involved in this match. Oh, sorry, in this game. It is itself under investigation by the UK Gambling Commission to access whether its game where users play with encrypted digital soccer tokens they can buy and sell amounts to gambling. So you see, to get involved with this right now, you could still make some money. It's still very early. I do believe I saw some uh, some advertisement on some banners in the background on, on a couple of football matches uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, with Sorari on it. Now, this is... This is very worrying, right? They're trying to stifle innovation. They're trying to put limits on the games you can play. Now, I can see where they're coming from. I really, really can. But at the same time, rather than just throw the book at it without even conversing with it, you, you should really, like, tread softly and walk on eggshells, really, because this could be damaging if you regulate this. This, I mean, there's already plenty of fantasy football things going on here. Why isn't that gambling, huh? You're literally putting in money or funds or maybe even playing for free and then based off of where you fall within your team, right? Or where your your whoever you're competing with, the, the, the tournament, right? You get rewarded something, right? You get like a gift of like, a, I don't know, a car or you get some monies or something, right? But that's not taxed. In some countries it is taxed, but in other countries it's not taxed. So this is, this is a bit worrying. It really, really is. But either way, here's the... Um, the website. So I, we have registered. We do have a club. We have. It's kind of a. <laughs> we need some help, right? We we need we need the transfer window to open up and go ahead and execute some people. Like it'd be great to get Orland and it'd be great to get Trap, right? But we haven't. Well, we'll show you the club. Maybe we'll show you this weekend of what we're working with. Maybe you could give us some uh, options and pointers. But there's 215 clubs available that are officially licensed, right? Officially licensed. So they've got Liverpool, uh, Madrid, uh, Boca Juniors, PSG, Inter, Ajax, Bayern, uh, Porto, and it looks like a Japanese club, uh, only because it says Kawasaki there. Uh, so you can collect them, you can trade them, uh, but apparently you can also sell them and gamble with them, right? <sighs> Right, so here we are. So limited. So these are the different tiers: limited, rare, super rare, unique. Now they also have common in here, and commons are usually given for free, and they help you fill in the gaps for the for for your squad. That when you that if you don't have enough players, it helps you fill in the gaps and gets you some kind of points. Right now, the higher the the rarity, the more points you can easily acquire. But at the same time, to uh. To actually partake in it and actually acquire one, you're gonna need some. You're gonna need some bags of ETH, all right. You really are. So put your football passion to the test. Connect and trade with other fans in our open market. Okay. So it's definitely fun. It's definitely speculative. It actually opens your eyes to different leagues throughout the world and opens your eyes to different talents throughout the world. Because like it, the Korea's involved, the Korean League, the J League, uh, what else? American League. They're all involved. And honestly, like who really knows decent? Like who really knows players from those leagues? You, you know, like you, you just don't. You know, unless it's like someone like Iniesta who went to Japan to go play, or uh, who was it, Xavi, a couple of years ago and went to Japan. Unless you, those individual figures that are well known within the industry, within football, you're not going to know anyone else. But at the same time, you could probably figure that out. You know, it's like, oh, I've got this car playing uh, this this match coming up, right? And his name is Kimbo. Kyung, okay, Kim Bo Hyung, who's he? Oh, I don't know. So you find out, and he's giving you points. You know, he's helping your squad on this match. Uh, sorry, on this uh, platform here, heavily. And then come to find out, well, you know, Man United want to sign him. You know, it's like, oh, I know who he is. He's great. He's fantastic. And then next thing you know, your NFT ends up being two ETH. <laughs> so, so definitely, football is the future, and you win weekly prizes. Look at that. Um, I highly recommend, maybe we'll have a referral link uh, there at the bottom, but uh, it's a bit embarrassing, our team. Oh, look at this. These are the investors. Griezmann is an investor. Shrule is an investor. Advisor, Drew <laughs> Piquet is an advisor. I highly doubt he's just an advisor. I'm pretty sure he's also an investor. <laughs> so... Um, I highly recommend this match. It's quite fun. It keeps you up to date, especially if you're a football fan and you want to make some quick money before regulations come come down on you, right? 
Again, we'll provide the link down below if you want to support the channel and also give us updates on your club and who you support and what cards you're looking for. And who knows, maybe maybe we even like do some trading, right? Or uh, maybe like, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you trade on this match, but maybe or on this platform, but we could do some trading. We could give some uh, advice to one another. Just, you know, let us know in the comments below how, how should we go about doing that. It'll probably be like a weekend thing, maybe like a Friday, Saturday or Sunday. I know matches get played on the weekend, so we will probably have to do it on like a Friday or Saturday um, just to make sure we got our, our, our squads locked in prior to the matches because I believe within 24 hours of match play or something like that, maybe 18, uh, you're not allowed to adjust your squad. So if your squad is incomplete, you're not playing. Uh, if your squad is crap, well, <laughs> you you might as well not have played. <laughs> so uh, definitely well, we'll provide the link below. And next we have, since we talked about it recently in our last video, which if you didn't watch our last video, go ahead and uh, give it a little quick watch, right? Monkey ball. Football and blockchain have such potential of introducing the masses to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And as we said in the last video, this is one that we are actually looking at. It looks very fun. It looks very, very promising. The amount of backers involved in it are quite hefty. You have DraftKings, which ironically is a gambling uh, platform, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, DraftKings is involved in this. There's a billionaire involved in it. I uh, forgot who else is involved in it. It's in the last video that, that, is, uh, that came out not too long ago. So essentially what it is, is you get NFTs, these players. You could do multiplayer uh, adventure like single player or team for team so it's it's very fun it's similar to according to them it's similar to fifa street and final fantasy uh you upgrade your cards um, and they said that there's a couple of different tiers just like sorare so you're gonna have like for example this will be a common this will be a rare this will be a uh, unique based off the background or the hair or i don't know uh, it's not out yet it comes out in december remember mark your calendars december and make sure you follow them on discord twitter and all the all the social medias that they have for monkey boy yeah also what we were looking for and our, you, oh, i'm probably gonna get sniped right but what we're looking for is how do i buy a stadium nft so what is that, right? And we talked about this last time. I'm gonna talk about it again because I feel it's so important. Later this year, we will offer a limited supply of stadiums in an exclusive NFT drop. For more details, please join our Discord and Telegram channels and stay tuned to our announcements. So I will say, uh, if you're not going to join the Discord or Telegram, I will say that owning a stadium NFT, you will actually be getting rental fees for people playing on your stadium, right? So imagine hosting a multiplayer unit and I believe it's three on three. So imagine six different people having to pay you 0.001 ETH or 0.0001 ETH or whatever it may be each just to play on your stadium, right? And just because they play on your stadium, it doesn't mean that they're the only ones doing it. Remember, this is blockchain technology. So you've got them playing on it, then you've got other people playing on it. It's You could literally make within a day, probably a full ETH, depending on what kind of stadium you have, right? Because it's just not like, oh, this they're going to play a match, they have the pitch, they're going to take up the next 90 minutes of it. No, 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 no. This is blockchain technology. This is digitalization of gaming, digitalization of football, man. Come on. No, you're going to have hundreds, thousands of people playing at the same time at your stadium because it's an NFT. So... Again, we're looking for it. I'm assuming there's going to be a couple grand right off the the right off the the beginnings. So, if you've got it, I highly recommend you get it. All right. But that's that's all we got for today. Uh, recap: We got Bybit becomes global main sponsor of Argentina soccer team. Uh, Sorare is a great, fantastic game, but they want to regulate it. Uh, here is Sorare, probably one of the biggest uh, fantasy football NFT games today and then we've got monkey ball which is another like definitely multiplayer video game nft football based monkey game <laughs> but again happy days happy trading